Hello everyone. So the name of the story is One Winter's Day. Little Hedgehog was making his for winter when a sudden gust of wind blew him off his feet. It took hold of his cozy nest and tossed it into the air. Into the air, and the little hedgehog trembled as the wind whistled around him, and he wondered what to do. He wondered what to do. He and he caught hold of his hat, scarf. And mitten, and mitten before they blew away, and tried and tried to find shelter. Tried to find shelter under the tree roots, but wherever he went, yes, but wherever he went, the wind blew there as well. I have to stay with Badger. Until the storm has gone, he said at last, and pulling his warm, pulling his woolly warm hat over his prickles, and the, then he snuggled into the cozy, into the cozy scarf and put on his mittens. Yes, he put. On his mittens, like that, he set off, and the wind was even stronger in the middle. The wind was stronger. Leaves swirled here and there. Snowflakes filled the air, and the little hedgehog had not gone. Had not gone far when he bumped into a family of field. When he bumped into the family of field mice shivering in the long grass. Yes, he bumped into the family of field mice shivering in the long grass. I have never known such a storm. Squeaked Mother Mouse, and the wind has blown our nest far away, and my poor babies were so cold, and my poor babies are so cold, cold, and my home has been blown away. My home has been blown away as well," said Little Hedge. Oh, I am on the way to stay with Badger, but I have just the thing to warm you up. I have just the thing to warm you up, and he, yes, he took off his woolly hat. He took his woolly hat and gave it to mice. Gave it to mice. Oh, lovely, lovely! They squeak, snuggling down out of the wind. Thank you, little hedgehog. Thank you. And the little hedgehog, yes, and the little hedgehog tugged his nose. Yes, tugged his nose inside his scarf. And ran along beside the racing river. Otto was on the bank. And Otto, Otto was on the bank. Hmm. Otto was on the bank, huffing and puffing on his paws. Hello, Otto said Hedgehog. Hello, Otto. What are you doing? And the otter said. Hello, hedgehog. My fur coat keeps me warm, but my paws are freezing. 
So here have these set little hedgehog giving otter his mittens. Yes, giving otter his mittens. Yes, his mittens. And they should do the tricks. So, an otter. Thank you, little hedgehog. Thank you so much, said otter. These are great. But should not you be at home? Should not you be at home in this cold weather? I have no home anymore, little hedgehog replied sadly. I have no home anymore. And the wind has blown it away and running on, he cried, I am going to stay with Bajo. But by the time little hedgehog reached the woods and the snow was getting deeper. Snow was getting deeper and on him and on and on he snuggled, picking his way between the snow drift as the wind hollowed around him. And a mother deer and her fawn were sheltering in the bushes. Oh, little hedgehog! Oh, little hedgehog, why are you not in the nest in his awful storm? She asked. So the little hedgehog told mother deer about his nest blowing away. But as he spoke, he saw that the little fawn was shaking with cold. She was shaking with colds. So here, take this. Here, take this scarf. And he gave this scarf to fawn. And the mother deer said, Mother dear said, how kind you are. Hmm, how kind you are, said mother dear. Thank you, little hedgehog. Thank you so much. And the little hedgehog patterned on faster and faster. But just as he finally saw Badger's house, he saw Badger's house at the, yes, at the bottom of the hill, he skipped in the icy path. Help! help. And the little hedgehog stayed with Badger. Stayed with Badger until the storm had gone. As they walked to where his house had been. And the little hedgehog was very worried. How can I build a strong new nest if all the leaves and twigs have blown and there is nothing left, he asked. There is nothing left. Then the badger said, I will help you. We are nearly there now. Surprise came. Yes, surprise came the cry when they turned the corner. The little hedgehog gasped with delight. The little hedgehog gasped with delight. Mm. And you know what? The animals, the animals he had met in the storm. He had met in the storm, had made, yes, had made a nest. Yes, had made a, made a nest for the animal he had met in the storm, made, had made him the coziest nest he had ever seen. Yes. Coziest nest for the kindest. Yes. And they all cried together for the kindest hedgehog in the world.
Yes, the nest is for the kindest hedgehog in the world. Thank you.